But thankfully though, the KV-1C does not have that weakness. It's 75mm so over. So I'm not too concerned about them bending my sights anytime soon. Unless of course it's a 122mm or 152. Sometimes even 85mm can crush through this. Hey guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to War Thunder. And today, we are returning to the all famous KV-1C 756R, or what the game calls it now, the KW-1C. Not sure why the change is necessary, but this is a single letter, I don't really care. Anyway, why do I say that we are back playing this thing? Well, firstly, there's this thing called the event vehicle that I'm currently grinding. If you've been sleeping under the rock, let me show you what it is. It is the Sturmtiger, that's right. The Sturmtiger, and this is what I'm using to grind it. And by the time this video is out, I probably should have it in my lineup. Anyway, the other thing is, this is not the first time I make a video about this vehicle. I actually haven't touched this thing for like two years. That's right, the last time I played this thing was actually all the way back in November 2020. And now, November 2022. What has changed? Well, the battery thing. Unfortunately, because of how well this thing is actually performing, and by the end of this anniversary event, we can probably see this thing go up to 5.3. And to be honest, I'm not really surprised that happens because, yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. And the worst part, it's not an event vehicle. You can pick this up for about a thousand golden eagles in the in the German tree. Right here. Or you can just wait for a sale and wait for it to go down to like 50% off or something. Anyway, let me break it down to you and I'll show you why is this thing still an absolute monster despite going up to 5.0 better rating. Now first things first, armor. This is the KV-1 chassis, so that means you have 75mm at all angles. 75mm front, 75mm sides, 75mm, well actually 70mm rear, but again not that I really care. But for the front, you have 75mm sitting underneath a 25mm plate. So it's actually 100mm of armor right here. And not to mention, it's a bit of a slope, about 30 degrees. So some might actually argue that this armor might be slightly better than the Tiger 1's frontal armor. Because the Tiger 1's frontal armor is like almost near 19 degrees more than this thing. This one has a little bit of a slope, so it does make it a little bit better. Just keep in mind about something though, unfortunately since this got bumped up to 5.0, you have to expect to see some of the stronger guns, unlike when it's at 4.7 where it's a little bit less. Now it's at 5.0, you will see like 152, 122, 85mm, yeah, they can definitely punch through this very easily. So what do you do when you're playing this thing? Simple, you angle, just like the tiger. Once you angle, you can get up to like 160mm, 170 on the sides, 100mm right here, then 34 in effective thickness. Now a lot of guns can go through this anytime soon, which is why this thing is actually a bit of a monster. <laughs> that the armor is actually pretty viable. 40mm right here, since it's a super wide angle, I don't really recommend shooting this anytime soon if you're facing this thing. Then you might be wondering, Jim. What about the KV-85, IS-1, IS-2, IS-2, 1944? You always talk about shooting the lower glazes, right? Well, I mean, you could. It's only 75mm, but unfortunately, it's sitting underneath a 25mm plane right here. So, I mean, if you're up close and personal, maybe, but... Yeah, if you're a distance away, and if this thing's angled, yeah, don't try it. Then moving on to the sides, 75mm sides only. Which is uh, good news and bad news. The bad news is that this is kind of extra pattern weight because, as I mentioned before, any tank that comes onto your side there's a near 19 degrees impact or just full 19 degrees impact. There's not there's not a lot of armor to go through, and it really doesn't take much to one shot you from the sides, unless of course you know 
Anyway, the good news is that at least unlike the tiger, which uh, when you angle, here's the thing that you need to be careful of when you're playing the tiger is you only have 60 millimeters here. <laughs> so if you angle, yeah, be careful if you come across a, a T34 or a TV85, the Soviet tank with the APH EBC. They can actually punch through this. That's something I forgot to mention in my tiger video. But thankfully though, the KV-1C does not have that weakness. It's 75mm all over, so I'm not too concerned about them bending my sights anytime soon. Unless of course it's a 122mm or a 152. Sometimes even 85mm can punch through this. Not exactly sure how, but again, since I'm talking about Soviet guns, well, you know, Soviet. Then moving on to the rear, 70mm right here. 60mm up here, so this is um, a bit of a dangerous spot to shoot. And uh, the transmission and the engine will pretty much eat the shell anyway. So, shoot this part at your own risk. And then moving up, the turret armor. I could have sworn this was 100mm at one point. Not exactly sure when they made this 105, but I'm not gonna complain. 105mm of armor at all directions. Yeah. Front, sides, yeah, you name it. Front right here as well. 105mm right here as well. 105mm right here, 105mm right here. This is a very well protected turret armor. Just be careful that at 5.0 again, you'll be coming across guns that can pen more than 100mm. You know, 145, 146. Some can pen like 190. So, this is something to be careful of. Especially if you try to angle this, this little bit of a corner wedge here. Or if you're pointing the gun at somebody, they can just shoot this. And then roof armor. 30mm, 40mm, I'm not too concerned, honestly, because one is that American 50 cals and 30mm won't be getting through this anytime soon. And not to mention, since this is a German vehicle, I'm not too concerned about seeing the MK103 30mm anytime soon. The 30mm you see in the Do-335 aircraft. So if you come across this, how do you kill this thing? Now firstly, if it's not angled, you can shoot this. It's only 100mm. And if it's this, assuming it's not angling in any way. Another spot you can shoot is this, but at your own risk. Because this is a very small window. 75mm right here. And then there's a little bit of a hole behind it. But as I said, it's a very small window. You will land a bit too far left, too far right, too low, too high. Yeah, you're looking at 75mm times 2. Another spot you can try is this. 35mm sitting on top of another 35mm. So that's about 60, no, 70mm. And then there's actually a much bigger wall right here, as you can see. So you can shoot this if you like. Then going up to the turret armor, you can try this. As I mentioned earlier on about guns at 5.0, you can try this. It's only 105mm. Another spot you can try but at your own risk is this. It's only 50mm right here and it's quite exposed, as you can see. 50mm right here, but just be careful that it's a very small window as well. Because again, if you... Don't land your shots right, you risk hitting this 105mm right here, or this 105mm right here, or this. Now moving on, here's the next part that makes this thing an absolute monster. Now normally, some heavy tanks that has a really good armor, they for some reason don't have a good gun. But not this guy. This KV-1, not only does it has a really good armor, it has a really good firepower. 75mm KWK-40 and 48 cannon the modified pack 40 cannon to fit in the turret of a tank. This is the same 75mm you find on the Panzer 4 h as you can see. So if you know how the Panzer 4 h actually performs in this battle rating at 3.7, yeah, you know how devastating this gun is. And as the 75mm goes, this is what we'll be firing. The Panzer Granat 39, armor piercing cap ballistic cap shell, that pans up to 145mm of armor at point blank. Just be careful that uh, your explosive mess is not the most golden thing ever. You will come across moments where the enemies just don't die to your one shot round. But at least the good news is that you have a good angle of penetration. Now, you do have a machine gun, a 792 machine gun MG34 right here. Just be careful that aiming it is at the mercy of the entire turret. What do I do? I suggest you carry at least 5 of these high explosive shells in case you come across an open top vehicle. And last but not least, armor piercing composite region or APCR. 
I highly recommend you bring at least 10 of these. 182mm of penetration at point blank. Really horrible angle of penetration, don't ask why. But I highly recommend you bring at least 10 of these. And why? If you have seen my headset video, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, I'm talking about this guy. Your APCBC, 145 meters of penetration, is not getting through this 152 anytime soon. Doesn't matter if you try to shoot around here as well. Or here. Or here. This is actually pretty extremely protective, so... If he's facing full front at you like this, yeah, you're not getting through this anytime soon. Which is why I say bring some APCR so he can definitely shred this guy's turret, especially when he starts pointing the gun at you. And all the other aspects on the gun, 80 rounds of ammunition. For me, I personally would carry 30 armor piercing cap ballistic cap shell, 10 armor piercing composite region, and 5 fire explosive, which is around 45 shells. Seems like it's a lot, but the good news is that most of the shells, all of the shells really, will be down here. We running red, 6.3 seconds. Now I am running expert crew on with maxed out uh, weapon reloading on the loader, so which is why 6.3 seconds. But if you are picking this up at, uh, with basically zero levels in your crewman, which I'm gonna ask why. <laughs> It's gonna be 7.6 seconds. It's kinda long actually. Especially when you're comparing with uh, American 76 or sometimes the 3 inch 17 pounders. So yeah. I suggest you put some points into your weapon reloading your crewman. So you can get up to like. At least, at least try to reduce it by 1 second. But anyway, 6.3 seconds reloading rate. That's actually kinda fast. Negative 6 in gun depression. That's actually kind of lacking a little bit, so that's something to be careful of. And then targeting speed 11 degrees. This is something to be careful of when you're playing this thing. Is that uh, 11 seconds is a little bit slow. There's things that you come across that can turn at like 20 degrees a second or so. So what I'm trying to say is uh, be careful when you're playing this thing. Just be careful that if you're approaching a corner, you might want to make sure your turret is pointing in the right direction first. And finally, no gun stabilizer, but it's not really a big deal, honestly. This gun doesn't really seem to bounce all too much. So yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. So as you can see, this is why this is such a monster. Especially when it was back at 4.7 better rating. Now it's at 5.0, it still is. As you will see in this video. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about the tank. Now let's take this thing out into battle and... Uh, let's bump this thing up to 5.3, shall we? <laughs>
Det er nogen, vi er nemlig i hånd. Ja. De sidder nede og kigger i dag. Nej. Det er jo også lukket. Der er en anden one behind, just beside me in this house. See the machine gun shot. Yeah, nice. I can see him. Wow, hit. Is there another Kiwi thing? No, no, it's a chip chip. Oh, sure. Uh, Does he have yeah, a muscle yeah. break? Ah, oh, keep bouncing off. I think it's a chip chip server. I can't be really sure. No, we're not going to do it. Come in, we decided. Oh, you you want to shoot the bush? Oh, fuck, man. You got my check. Uh, Luke, let's see if you can. Oh, I'm trapped. Does he have a muscle break? I'm just going to shoot this gun. Can't tell. The house is like... Okay, now it's okay. I think so, eh. Ah, I cannot... Yeah, there's a... Is he a muscle break? Yeah, there's a muscle break. Oh, no! I shoot his gun, I cannot. Oh, he's gonna throw it. I shoot my gun, I can't. Oh, I got sight. But someone shot me from behind. Yeah, and you're wrong. I got double track, but I got it out. Yeah, Mark Seven. This one, yeah. This guy is the sole reason why I bring the PC out. This is a pretty good thing, right? I think it's a pretty good thing, right? Mark Seven. Uh, it's not bad though. It, it looks pretty good there. Like, first I try to shoot him just across the ring, but I can't even get his cut. It's not even that I'm getting surrounded. And then yeah, yeah, you're still on your own. <laughs> I'm still repairing. My gun is still out. Oh, that guy saved you. Yep. Now what? Fall back. Yeah, hold on, there's a... Oh, there's another guy coming. Yeah. Yes, you. Yeah. I'm trying to you. rotate my update card. Oh, sorry, so I'm on the Churchill Mark 7. Um... Yeah, yeah. It's not bad, oh dear. There's not some uh, to see. Where did he go? Let uh? me mark your... Let me mark where you're shooting. What's that going on? I'm, uh, I'm looking at the left side. Okay. There's so many yes use. <laughs> oh no 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 Yeah, so Chuchu Mark 7 uh, is basically a British jungle with uh, much thicker armor and those. Yeah, it seems pretty good, especially at the sides. Yeah, but the downside yeah. is that the main it's gun right, is actually quite good. It's closer than but the uh, oh, yeah. Sherman 7. Oh, yeah. All you can do is check me. <laughs> but I also cannot play him uh, back here. There's a guy in there if you want to help me. Yeah, you yeah. realize I just came up with a spawn there. <laughs> I was like, how are you about to do it? Hey, my bumper. It'll take me around. Okay, I can head over. One man.
but yeah, uh, Churchill Mark 7. The reason why it's actually scarier in terms of farmers is because it doesn't have the front and side big spot like the Jumbo does. Mm, yeah, the Jumbo is shoot at the side, you will just die. I mean, it won't instant kill, but it's not really able to bounce. You will still because, get some full in judge. Yeah, because uh, Jumbo, right, the bottom half of the sides is like only 38 millimeters. Yeah. So at the angle, right, you can actually penetrate that. Yeah. I mean, even at the top, also, like, not much difficulty. If you are actually a decent tank. Yeah. And also, it's, it's very, 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 very slow. <laughs> the Jutra Mark 7. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's why it's downside. I thought only the two of us can see. Why you? Oh, not you, not you. It's a Soviet tree. Uh, stay where you are. Just keep watching the. Enemy, enemy! Is it okay? You going? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, let's see. Oh, I just wait, I'm not looking at the whole thing. What is that? Eighty Why dude, why? Why are you here? Where are you? Come on. Oh fuck. Okay, now come on, come on. Don't come on, don't come on. I got it. No worries. Okay. There's a medium tank somewhere. Oh, in front of me. It's quite shot. See where they I got it. Okay. Uh, my tracks out, so... Okay. I think there's someone like further behind you. Further back. Attention to the map! <laughs> I go to the right. I'll, to the right. Okay. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this side. It's a, it's a, she's fucking making you up. And you see See any more? I can't move. And shoot. Why uh, you? Uh, bomb, bomb. Blew on my engine, my transmission, my move tracks, my gun cannon barrel. How am I still alive is beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the two of us left here. Okay. Yeah, so keep it there. Is there someone around this corner? You want me to go over there and you? No, 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 Oh no. 
wie wie du. Ist okay, hier Mist. Ich geh wie du es nach Ruhe, wo ich noch war. Ich bin so schön in die Kasse, was du bist. Ein Boss. Ja. Sieht der Enemy in Front aus? Äh, in Front of me? Sieht der? Mm. In die Ecke? Ja, ja, äh, in die Ecke. Oh, hallo. Okay, okay, okay. Simo Vente. Ich will wirklich nicht mehr ist. Der Geil, 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 der Backing out to our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? It's a nice one. Who do you? Hola. Shot. Reloading, I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah. Ooh, voila. I'm for sure we'll do that, so if you want to... Be more... Ah, sorry? I'm I think you're going around the thing, eh? Is there enough time? I go no, around the right side. Right. He's shooting at you, though. You don't know if you don't expose your sights. Okay, it's okay. I think he's still there. Yeah, I know. I can hear him. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry, buddy. Hello. <laughs> Why is that guy doing it? Dude, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no, I just forgot I was here. <laughs> oh, Ow, you were like, got there. Yeah. Oh, 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 one of my teammates, this Damn. one of our teammates decided to shoot you, shoot me. I thought there was an enemy. Haha. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> there was one time when I was trying to ambush someone down the street. And someone shot me from behind and I'm like, I thought I got flagged. And it turned out it was an ally teammate. Yeah. Then I turned around and looked at the ally teammate. The real enemy came rolling around the corner, shot me in the face. And I'm like, dude! There yeah, was it's, it's another really thing right in front beside me and you don't want to shoot me. Oh. Yeah, it's really irritating. Really